Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we've got another new release by WPL. This one's quite quickly after the release of the two new K trucks. At the time of filming, today is the 1st of April. So, I know this video will probably be released on the Friday. This is WPL's new 1 tenth scale, according to the website. Or is it? Let's get it unboxed and just to absolutely annoy someone, I'm calling you out Liam at Fai's RC. And this time, do I cut towards myself? Or do I cut like this? Or do I not even show you at all me opening it? So, this is kind of something new and kind of something old. Let me get it out the box. Oh, come back to the uh, original, original box. The original nice black box. If you can see there, that is the C54 again. But, this time around, it is not as you remember it. If I get it open out of the box, let's see. It's even upside down in the box. This time around, it's an RTR. And it's no longer on the ordinary C chassis anymore. It is on the brand new frame. We'll get to that a little bit later. But again, in the box, because I chose the C51, oh, which is the option with all the optional extras of the Expedition Pack. You get different style bumper, different style grills, step or. Uh, Rock sliders, spare tyre, I think you get the spare tyre with it anyways, but you get all the optional extras. And to be honest, I may throw my original orange body on it, because I've got that all nicely painted up already. So let's have a little look with what's new with this frame. So now we've got the body off, we get to see the new chassis. So this is the new one in the C series lineup. And it looks pretty nice. Same axles as per as normal and drive shafts. It appears we've got Ah, so the pumpkins are lined up, so it means one of these is actually well, one of these dry shafts are turning the opposite way, so it should eliminate all torque twist. Another, apart from the frame rails, or really, to be honest, apart from the axles, everything's new on it. We've got these really nice red spring shocks. I don't know if they're oil filled. I'm gonna have to have a little look, and I just noticed. It looks like they've got preload dampeners on it. Yeah, you can adjust, you can adjust them. Wait, that is very, very nice. They're very smooth as well. One thing I did notice while taking it apart, which I'm not too pleased on, is this. And this. Can we stick to one type of battery connector? I know WPL had always had their own battery connector. 
but changing it up so you can't use your stocks off like let's leave it I've got maybe nearly 10 of the normal WPL batteries now and I can't use any of them on this one I have to use this one so this connector may be getting cut off and soldering on one of the original ones or going to a lipo for it another so it's got the same i'm pretty sure that's got the same same size servo as the c34 so another major upgrade so i've just noticed is all these plastic links yes they're plastic i've also just noticed one of the links is the wrong way round on it <laughs> But all these plastic links have all got ball ends. So going from the original ones when they were just push fit into a screw hole, these actually run a lot smoother and run a lot nicer. I've also just noticed there's a panhard bar as well on the front. So this is following on from the um, the FJs. Same certs, same steering servo as the FJs. Apart from that, it's very nice. So I think what I'm going to do with it, I'm going to switch out the plastic axles for some metal ones, metal drive shafts, and then send it. See how it performs. That gearbox sounds so smooth. So I'm assuming that's I see no servo, I see no servo wire, so I'm assuming that's a single speed. And it looks a lot more low profile than the uh, two speed. And it looks like there's also the same mounting holes for the two speed anyways. So, it is... New frame, but it... It's a new frame, but there is some compatibility with some of the original parts makes me wonder if I can put these shocks on anything else very nice so let me get this back together and let's go take it out on some rocks let's go Thank you. 